Hey y'all. Before we get started, I'm gonna wait for a couple people to come in. Hey y'all. Before we get started, guys. Mm. Yo, I got bit by a spider. I got bit by a spider, y'all, so I had to get some medicine so that my leg don't fall off. Welcome. But today, thank you, Jennifer. I love you too. But today we're just gonna be um making some chicken quesadillas. But before we get started, I'm gonna talk to y'all right quick and I'm gonna eat some yogurt. I have to take antibiotics because of my spider bite. It's on my leg right here. It kind of went down, but you could see it a little. Kind of went down. It's like, it's right there on my leg, that little red patch. I've been taking the antibiotics for a couple days now, so. But when I take my antibiotics, I like to uh, drink yogurt drinks and eat yogurt. Because, you know, the uh, antibiotic be stripping your system of um, all the good and bad bacteria so it's not the ideal way that I want to treat this spider bite but it was kind of bad the spider bite was kind of bad so I'm just going to go ahead and do what I got to do but I got some lemon I got some lemon yogurt this is my favorite yogurt Okay. you got to go get your, your cooking utensils baby but Cook in your room, okay? Because I don't want all the stuff out on the floor. Because I'm going to be walking around and I don't want to step on that thing and I don't want to step on you. Okay? Okay, mama. Go ahead. Go eat your snacks. I got some lemon yogurt. This is my favorite yogurt. I got some um, granola I'm going to put in there. I haven't really eat, eaten anything yet today. So, this is going to be like... One of the first things that I do eat. Eliana! Come here! Stand right there. Don't move. Anyway, be quiet. Eliana, be quiet now. She's getting upset because... Now I have to put my attention elsewhere, and she wants to do whatever she want to do, so she can't. Actually, I might need more of that granola. But yeah, how y'all doing this today? Before we get started, put organic honey on a spider bite. Oh my gosh, thank you. It hurt, like, so when I initially got bit, it, like, I didn't feel anything. And then the next day, I noticed that my leg was swollen. Like, it was really swollen, and it started to itch. And then as it started to itch, I started, like, it started hurting. Like, I started to limp. This was, like, on the second day. And then I was like, oh, my goodness, this hurts really bad. Like, after a while, like, it'll have spells where it would hurt, and then it would, um like, be, it would get better. But then it just started getting redder and redder and redder. So when I went to the doctor, they were like, it looks like it's, it wants to get infected. Um, so they prescribed me antibiotics. So. I don't know. I don't know. I was getting my nails done. And I think that's when I got bit when I was getting my nails done. Because when I was sitting at the little table or whatever, there was this insect that was sitting on my leg. And I ain't know. I ain't know like what it, like what exactly 
it was and I didn't stop to take a look because I don't want no bugs sitting on me so I plucked it off and when I plucked it off I went to look on the ground to like see where it was it was nowhere to be found so I was like I guess but it looked like it had blood in it I don't know it was real crazy looking um but I think that's when I got bit but when I came home something was like checking around the house to see if there are um spider webs and stuff like that so when i got home i was looking around the house checking for spider webs and there's there's spider webs i found spider webs in my room i seen spider webs in the bathroom like on the outside of the window and then i seen spider webs I actually last night i actually seen a spider web in eliana room and there was an actual spider in the web so i was like oh my god it was good strawberry kiss that's good I'm glad you enjoyed it. So when I seen the spider in Eliana room, I was like, oh snap. So I just vacuumed all of the spider webs. And unfortunately, where I found the spider web in Eliana room, uh, that was where I kept her shoes. So I just checked all of her shoes, vacuumed everything, made sure everything was clean. And I moved her shoes into another area in her room. Because I would hate for her to get bit by a spider. But yeah, I'm... Fortunately, it wasn't like something that was extremely dangerous, but spiders are very dangerous. So I'm going to just get some spider spray or whatever and spray it around the house. But yeah. Thank you, Arona. I feel good. Honey and yogurt is good. How y'all doing today? Nah, I'm weak. I just use equal styling gel on my edges. Mmm, -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I just use equal styling gel. I'm not too serious. But, I don't know what happened, y'all. It's good, Ocean. This is lemon. Lemon yogurt. Got a little tang to it, but it's good. Y'all, TMI, but let me let y'all know something. Right now, I'm like... My dad used to call it a truck. My dad used to call it a truck or whatever, but the menstrual or whatever is here, y'all. So, girl, I broke out so bad. That's how I knew it was coming, and I was anticipating it. I was like, what? Like, when you going to come? Like, I was eyeballing it. And so my body started showing signs that it was about to come. And I was like, and so it came, finally came. I was like, oh, these bumps. But I've been using, the, um, well, I use, I use black soap on my face by Friendly Favors. Y'all purchase y'all facial black soap. It's a liquid black soap by Friendly Favors. She got a 10% a off sale that's going on. But if you use my code, which is Velvet G, Capital V, capital G, Velvet G. She'll give you an additional 15% off. So total, you'll be getting 25% off whatever you purchase. That's going on right now up until April 5th. So yes, I use her black soap, friendly favorites. I use her black soap on my face or whatever. And when I had got these bumps, I hurried up and used it. And it was like, it started working. And so now I'm just going to do it every day until the blemishes are gone. But I hate when I get pimples. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate when I get pimples. I hate it. Hey, Hacha. Thank you, Hacha. Jennifer, 25. You're welcome, Ocean. I'm 25. Low key. 
Low key, I am young. <laughs> that ain't even low key. Was my Instagram royal dot femininity? I spell femininity the correct way. So if you see other people trying to make other Instagram names with royal femininity, taking my pictures and stuff like that, that's not me. Why would I make a whole nother Instagram page with the same Instagram name, the same content, the same bio? That don't make no sense. So if y'all see other people out there, just look how they spell femininity. They'll like add another N or take an N out or add another I or take an I out or take an N I out. Y'all better be careful. I hope y'all don't get scammed. Because the people were saying they was asking people for money. I don't ask people for money. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Kiki. The babies are good. I'm not gonna lie. When I turned 25, I told y'all, it's a whole nother person. <laughs> Cause now that I'm like, you know, about two months in from being 25, I can honestly say that I carry myself a totally different way. My hair texture even changed, like literally. Things started changing about me. <laughs> Wait till 40, I'm weak. I don't know, things just changed about me, y'all. But I like it, because it's for the better. So I enjoy the change. But I'm interested, because it's like, I don't know, it kind of caught me off guard. Like, when my hair texture changed, I was like, what in the world? I just didn't know, like, what exactly Mama. was going on with me. I thought Mama. I was stressed out. Mama, I want to help you cook. Hmm. Alright, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. I want my water. Hmm, put some parsley flakes in there. Hmm. Put some parsley flakes in there. Thank you for the nice compliments, girl. <laughs> 23. 23 Mama. is an interesting year. Mama, give me some sugar. No, baby. Sugar. No, baby. Mom, that was good. I like it. Bussin'. She said, oh my God, y'all heard earlier. She said, I like it, Mom. It was bussin'. I'm weak. Mm. Thank you, Mom. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Mm. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, my God. This don't even have no um, I'm over it. Anyway, she says busting. I'm weak. Thank you. Ah, she said it was busting. I'm weak. I don't really want these big old chunks, but... Y'all, let me finish my yogurt Mom, before we get started. Give me some sauce. No, that's it. Mix it together. Miss granola and I went all over the counter. But yes, guys. Once I finish, we're going to start. We're going to get started. Ariana is asleep. Girl, 
Ellie is cooking water. Ellie is cooking water. And she seasoned it with parsley flakes and sugar. I'm from Louisiana. My hair type, I don't know. Mama, I honestly Mama. don't know. Mama, Thank you, Chriselle. Huh? Get some sugar for me. Ellie, you got enough sugar, baby. I appreciate all the nice comments, y'all. Don't wish too soon for no kids. I'm not saying, you know, they beautiful, but don't wish too soon, baby. Try to try to get your time in while you can, cause once you have a kid, it's over. Straight dedication after that. That's funny. Nusa is my favorite yogurt. No, it is not plant based. Mama, mommy, mommy. What is this? So good. Mama, mommy, watch me cook. Sweet herb soup. They do. Children do add purpose to your life. Bye, Rona. Mm-hmm. I got you. Mama. 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 Mommy. Mommy. I got you, um. Mom. Your teacher. Mama. Keep stirring it, baby. Don't get it on the floor. Mm hmm. Hey to everybody just coming in. Y'all, I'm like 123 pounds right now. Thank you. I appreciate that, Marie. We're going to be making some chicken quesadillas. So for right now, what we're about to do is prep our veggies because we want to prep our veggies. I have a green bell pepper, red bell pepper, onion, Garlic. I don't have no more purple onions, so we're going to go with the white. I got some mushrooms. I got some low-carb, whatever this is. I don't know. I, I didn't get it because it was low-carb. I just got it because I thought it looked good. Got a lot of seeds and stuff in there. I'm using the mushrooms because the mushrooms need to be cooked. And I have some vegan spicy mozzarella cheese that I'm going to put in there, and I have a whole chicken that I'm going to be cutting up, okay? So, as you know, as you know, I'm going to be slicing everything up. So, once I slice it, then I'm going to cook it down. I'm going to get Eliana to help me with that. I choose, I choose to eat meat sometimes because I am like, like being vegan for me, I lose weight, weight really quick. 
like I lose weight really quick like I told y'all I'm 123 pounds right now and I breastfeed so sometimes sometimes I just I want to like keep my weight you know what I'm saying because let me tell y'all something I'm somebody's wife and I need to keep my behind I'm just saying like that's real you know I don't want to be walking around here almost almost baby I don't want to be walking around here looking crazy I don't I'm sorry I'm not about to be looking all skinny and frail and malnutritious for nobody I don't care and maybe I think a big part of that too is because um I was traumatized on a vegan diet so I'd be like I don't know about that but there are still some meals that I eat that are vegan you know what I'm saying um but when I do eat meat I keep it real clean and I like the I like the protein that I get from it this is this is my personal opinion you know you can eat however you want you know what I'm saying but um yeah I, I like how uh the protein it, it, it gives my body you know I, I like how it makes me feel I don't eat every um type of meat I only eat cer certain meats and I only prepare them certain ways so for the most part I be straight you know what I'm saying okay keep going do it again I'm about to rinse these right quick I need my bowl quick because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna wash these off right quick but before I wash them off I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up now these scraps you could use these scraps for compost you can replant the seeds oatmeal yes I eat oatmeal too but lately I haven't been eating oatmeal just because I don't know I have I just haven't been like that like I don't know I just haven't been wanting to eat oatmeal so I um have been eating like granola a lot lately. Which is still a form of um, oatmeal. It's just not cooked down. I hate that this whole little piece has to come off first. Maybe I shouldn't have did that, but it is what it is. Oh Lord, y'all. This is hot. Yeah, I, well, I used to eat cabbage. Cabbage is like, I love cabbage. But I can't eat cabbage right now because Aviana, when I breastfeed, she gets really, really gassy from cabbage. So I stay away from cabbage. I also stay away from beans because she gets really bad uh, gas. Say excuse me, Aviana. It's in the um living room. Oh, my eyes. No, it's a living room. I'm gonna just rinse this all at one time. Oh, this is spicy. Woo. Yeah, I eat potatoes. I eat regular, I eat uh, red potatoes and uh, sweet potatoes. You gotta go get the other part, part of it, baby. And then Avi wakes up from my nap in the middle of me cooking. But Avi's in her bed, so she's okay. I try not to like run to, to like every cry that she has. I know she's just crying right now because she just woke up. But I try not to like run to her every cry because I don't want her to think that, you know, she can run me. You know what I'm saying? Like, in a child's mind, when you run to their every single cry for every little thing, they'll, you know, they'll think like, okay, let me cry. Get her attention. She gonna come get me, you know? Especially when you got stuff, other stuff that you're doing. Sometimes it's necessary to just, you know, Mama, let them hang out and. Mama, baby, on her feelings, Mama. Baby, what? Baby, on her feelings, Mama. 
But I am about to go uh, put her in her chair, though. I'm going to go get her and put her in her chair. Mommy, what I hear you, girl. Hold on, give me a second, child. But, but you got the one that I gave you sitting on my bed. So I'm going to need you to get it off the bed and come put it on the uh, on the ki kitchen table. is the most important of gaining weight. Oh girl, I don't know how many. I don't know how many calories I eat in a day. Thank you. Get granola again. I mean, I'm not losing weight and I'm not gaining weight. It's just consistent. Like I fluctuate from I I fluctuate between 1 120 121 and 125. Like, I, I just fluctuate between that. How many times do I eat in a day? By default, um, I eat. It really depends on the day, honestly. I eat every day, but sometimes I eat once a day. Sometimes I eat twice a day. But, like, sometimes when I'm eating in a meal... I might not eat all of it, so I just put it to the side, and then I come back to it. So, yeah. But I pretty much eat one time once a day. And that's not because I want to or because, any, like, you know, I just have it set up that way. It's just that that's just how it is. Like, I, I don't know, really know how to explain it. Like, you, you'll catch me, um, like, I'll eat breakfast every now and then. I make breakfast for Eliana every morning. Like, Eliana eats twice a day, sometimes three times a day, depending on what it is that she had as each of her meals. But most of the time, she eats two, two meals, and she's snacking a lot throughout the day. But when it comes to me, like, I'll have breakfast sometimes but i really eat um deeper into the evening like that's when i really get my meals in deeper into the evening and for some reason i still do produce i still do produce a lot of milk but i but i believe that for my own personal situation i be doing a lot of spirit like fighting a lot of spiritual warfare you know when it comes to certain things so you know fasting and um you know like eating once a day and really keeping things light to minimal is like i don't know that's been a big part of my life recently after i gave birth because i have so much that i'm doing mentally you know and i don't know that's just the way that it flows for me so hey no i'm not from uptown Alright, I'm about to go ahead and I'm about to 
rinse my vegetables. So now that we got that situated, I'm not from Uptown, but for some reason, I always did mingle with Uptown. Like, like my first crush was from Uptown. You know, it was like a, it was like a, a whole bunch of stuff that you know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna slice these thin, though, y'all. But yeah. Hey. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, Aviana is just an intent, <clears throat> content baby. Yeah, exactly. I eat from my plate multiple times, yeah. Oh, she's sitting over there. I can eat three to four times off of dinner from Jamaican spot. <laughs> you can't wait to see the scale. <laughs> Hey, Miss Velvet. Uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's, this. This little dish is gonna be nice. Now, Eliana, Eliana is learning how to occupy herself, y'all. She's learning how to occupy herself. You know. You good, Ma? Like, see, right now, I'm about to make this meal, but I'm about, I'm about to make this whole bag of quesadilla, like, I'm going to make the whole thing. But I'm not going to do, like, two halves. I'm going to do half and half. Like, I'm going to take one tortilla and do a quesadilla, like, fold it in half, and I'm going to just do all of them like that so I can get more out of. Because I have a lot of vegetable right here, but I absolutely need to use it. But if I don't use this vegetable in the thing, yes. I don't know, baby. You did that? Or no. Jesus did that? <laughs> I don't know who did that, baby. Jesus did that. She said you did that or Jesus did that. Jesus did that. Jesus. Bless you, Ivy. Jesus. If I don't use all Jesus. of these vegetables, I'm just going to probably, um, do I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. But I'm going to figure it out. I might just make a sauce and put it over some pasta. <laughs> put it over some pasta. I'm going to have to make some for Ellie without just stuffing it inside because she's going to want to take this stuff out. Trying to get a red snack? Um, yeah. Let me see. Can you get it? Can you reach it? Give me a 
know you're not sucking your finger. What red snake you talking about, y'all? What red snake? What you talking about? toys up off the floor please all right i think this might be enough vegetables but we're gonna go ahead and um chop us up some garlic because i like garlic and we just gonna slice it like regular we ain't doing too much what no i have more veggies than i have meat We're going to cook all that down together. to get new knives this knife came from the Dollar General you know I do that but I ain't do that this time I don't know why I did it So we're gonna take this pot that Eliana was using, we're gonna wash it out. I'm not gonna put no um I'm not gonna put no butter or anything like that in there. I'm going to just let, let the juices do what it do. And then we're going to season it off. And I pray somebody send you some knives in the name of Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. I had them on my wish list, but no, Mama, nobody ever got them off Mama, my wish list. Did you want to play in, our, in the game? Yeah, give me a moment so I can fix up something to eat, okay? Yeah. You are? Yeah, See you later, Mom. See you later, alligator. You know what? I'm throwing these mushrooms away. I'm not doing it. The mushrooms ain't looking too good, yo. And I'm not eating it. I don't care. Now. Let me put my vegetables in there. In the pan. And in the pan. Let me tell y'all something. People be people be saying like what changed like people like somebody just asked in the comments what changed you. Somebody be some people be saying like I'm glad to see you grow into the woman who you are. Let me tell y'all something. I never was I never was anybody different. It's just that that situation didn't allow me to be who I who who I naturally was. And so the fact that I was able to leave, you know, and have a conscious decision for why I shouldn't have, have been there and continue to put myself on my child through that, I turned to Jesus. 
And when I turned to Jesus, I repented for ignoring the Holy Spirit. I I asked for forgiveness and for everything that I had done wrong, whether it was what well, I personally feel like majority of what I did wrong was not listening to the Lord when he told me to leave. Because as y'all know, I went back and forth, back and forth. And when the Lord brought me out of that, I should have stayed out of that. Needless to say, once I got myself together, I was just like asking for the Lord to forgive me. And the Lord was the only thing that I could lean on. Jesus was the only thing that I could lean on because everything else was gone. Like I didn't have no money. <laughs> my friends denounced me. My family borderline gave up on me. And you know what I'm saying? It was a whole bunch of stuff that I went through. So I had to lean on the Lord to provide for me, to protect me, to get me to where I am today. And that is what you see. You see me living out the purpose that the Lord has for me, not nothing else, not anything else, but I'm living out the purpose that the Lord has for me. And I listen to the Holy Spirit when I'm guided and led to do certain things because I don't want to do anything outside of the will of God. So yes, my life is a testimony, but I want y'all to understand something. God put me through that situation for a reason, for a bigger purpose and a bigger reason than I, what, what, what I thought was you know, going on in my life. And the woman you see today was always there. I just wasn't given the opportunity to fully blossom into my womanhood. He, the abuser would stop that. You know what I'm saying? The oppressor, the oppressor would stop that. He didn't want me to come fully into my divinity because he is a control freak. He's a narcissist. He doesn't want people to become their, you know, full potential because he's insecure. And so that's just what it is. So don't think that I was, you know, um, like, like I just, I just magically transformed into this person that I am. Like, yes, no doubt there was some magical transformation there when it came to um, the Lord seeing me through that situation, seeing me out that situation. A lot of things that had to happen after the situation that was by the glory of God. But I want you to understand, if the person who you see standing here today is what God had already molded when I was in that situation. It just was oppressed. So now that I've listened to the Lord and I've let and I've allowed the Lord to lead me out of that situation and to where I am today, the Lord is blessed, continuing to bless me and continuing to allow me to develop and to uh, sprout and blossom into the woman that you see before you. So, this is not a dress. This is a shirt. So, yes, our vegetables are cooking down. So, while our vegetables is cooking down, I got this chicken, y'all. Check it out. I got this chicken, and we gonna cut, we gonna shred this chicken up. We gonna shred it up. But I appreciate everybody who supports me through thick and thin, the people who are still there by my side, even though I have done many wrong things, you guys still support me, you guys still pray for me, you guys still, you know, are there for me, and I appreciate you guys, I really do, because without you, truth be told, without, true, without you and without the Lord moving through you, you know, I wouldn't have some of the things that I have. So, I do appreciate you. Hold on, because this ain't even working. I do appreciate your understanding. Because it, it, 
It takes a, a well-developed person and mature person to understand me and continue to understand me through my trials and tribulations. Now, I, I will start making jewelry again. I will start my painting again and everything like that. It's just that I haven't really gotten on the ball with it because I have to invest in getting jewelry stuff. I don't have jewelry stuff. And as you know, having a, ho having a house and having two kids, all of my money goes to my kids. Like, I just started getting myself stuff. Like, this shirt I got, I got it from a thrift store. So, you know, I'm really taking my time to build my foundation. So, it is taking me a while to invest into my craft. But I do have my paints and stuff, but... I'm just trying to take my time with it also because I don't want to do anything where I'm not putting 100% of my energy into it. So I just want to make sure that I'm in the right headspace and the right mind, you know, when I'm doing it. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I want to see. That's the thing. Like, I always. In my life period, like no matter what I did, I always wanted to have a very strong foundation because I'm a family person. You know, I am a mother at heart way before I had children. I took care of other people's children. So, you okay, baby? So I wanted to build that foundation when I was with, you know, when I had Eliana, but unfortunately, the person who I was with at the time, they didn't want that. They didn't see the value in that because they saw the value in focusing all on themselves and giving all themselves the glory when it was much more than them. It, you know, it, it was more than what they wanted to do for themselves. So now that I'm on my rightful journey, on the righteous journey with the Lord, with Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ, I've allowed myself to shed from my old ways and thinking that abuse is okay and you know just moving on and being happy with myself and showing myself that self-love because I definitely wasn't getting that from the person that I was with so now that I'm rebuilding my foundation I'm building a thicker and stronger foundation so that when anything comes along I won't be moved I won't be shaken and and I won't uproot and so that is with the foundation of the Most High, and I move when God tells me to move, just like that. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't like the shenanigans. But at the end of the day, people are gonna do what they want to do. People see the value in what they want to see. Um, all I know is I don't have to do that. So. do that and I'm gonna do me at the end of the day my kids are gonna be taken care of whether a man is there or not I'm gonna be taken care of whether a man is there or not because at the end of the day the Lord takes care of us I'm in love with the Lord I'm in love with Jesus Christ before I'm in love with anyone and anybody else so my life is a testimony, and I respect, I respect, Eliana, stop it. I respect what God is doing in my life. So, we just going to go ahead, and I turned off the vegetables. The vegetables are cooked, right? I don't, I'm not going to pick that up because it's really hot, but I'm going to keep straightening this chicken up, y'all. You shouldn't ever close the door on yourself, girl. Hold on, let me open this door for him. Don't close that again. Yay! Mom! Mama! Mama! Let me talk to you. Mommy! Mommy! Baby, let me finish cooking, okay? Okay! But yeah. Y'all understand. This about to be so good.
Loyal to God, yes, ma'am. See, I was putting my loyalty in all the wrong places. All the wrong places. So once I started realizing where the priority lied, that's where I started giving my energy and my attention to. And look at me now. Look at me now. And the devil can't stand it. But guess what? I made it very clear to the devil that he cannot have me. And he cannot have my children. And he cannot have control over me. I know you even got tablets. No, uh, somebody said, Velvet, are you open to men hitting you up and trying to be with you? No, I am not. No, I am not. Uh, um, if a man comes at me... And wants to like be with me and stuff like that. I tell him that I'm not interested. Or he gets blocked if he, you know, depending on what type of person he is. But um, no, I I am not that I'm not open for that. As I've stated, I am someone's wife. Mama? Yes. off the floor now and put these toys in your room before you get this juice I'm not gonna get into the details of the marriage that I had with um, Eliana's dad only because um, I was beaten into that marriage. That was forceful. That was not something that I wanted to do. I actually was trying to get out of it right before it happened. But he was beating me and I had to escape and I was planning my escape. So I had to do what was necessary to keep me and myself, me and my child safe out of, you know, up out of that mess. And once I got myself out of that mess, I am taking certain, um, you know, cautions to, you know, um, you understand, you understand. But yes, that, that was not consensual. So yeah, by the law of God, um, that's that's not right right. Good job. No, you got those on the counter. Take those in your room too. Rightfully so, that was not um ordained by the most high. So yeah. And then sh um, right actually shortly after we were married, me and the oppressor, um, he then put me into the middle of those people, like all of those people. He made a circle, told the people to make a circle around me and he proceeded to beat me more. So, yes, that that was not consensual. Guys, I just want to let you know that. Because people think that I just willingly married him. No, 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 ma'am. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. Anyway, as I digress off of that topic, I'm almost done cooking this chicken. And then we, I mean, chopping this chicken. And then we are going to assemble this mug. What's wrong, Ivy? What's wrong, Ivy? Y'all, this chicken was good. I ate some of it. Chicken was so good. Very, yes, very demonic. All right, here you go. No, put your toys in your room, and then I give you your drink. Thank you for listening. Hey, come here. These toys right here on this counter. Put them in your room. Put them in your room, and then you get your ju you get your juice. 
Yeah, okay. Thank you for listening. My goodness. I'm coming out. Yes, the living father got me. Yes, amen. Yes. Yes. The Lord has me. And that is why I read my Bible. And that is why I pray. People have questioned, you know, why am I, you know, um, going to the Bible and stuff like that. Well, the enemy, the oppressor, used the Bible to trick me, number one. Number two, he literally thinks that he is the most high. And he is not. And I can prove that. And so, with that being the case, it makes all of the sense to go straight to the source rather than trying to uh, figure everything out on my own. And Lord, y'all, by the grace of God, I was saved, okay? Yes, thank you. I love this fabric. Like, look at the back. The back got buttons on it. It's so cute, right? Yeah, no. Here, just here. Thank you. I mean, I'm coming, baby, okay? <laughs> Ariana over there sitting with her legs kicked up. All right, so, that's a lot of chicken. But what we're going to do is, I'm going to be putting these in the oven, okay? I'm going to be putting these in the oven. Once I assemble them, I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm going to get the oven going. I'm going to put it on 400. Actually, I'm going to put it on 375 because I don't want them to burn. But yeah, we're going to put that in the oven. We're going to assemble these and then we're going to put them in the oven. I got my cookie sheets lined up. Hey, yes, Lily, I do have a P.O. box, but you're going to have to, you're going to have to uh, inbox me privately for that information. What happened? All right. Yes, I do think about my dad's words now that he passed. It actually has made me stronger. As tra as tragic as it was and as it still is for me to think about, I have found this peace through what he has taught me. And knowing that what I'm doing right now, he would be absolutely proud of me. So, okay, just hit me up in my inbox personally for my P.O. box. Let's go. Now we're about to assemble, guys. We got our vegetables, we got our chicken, and we have our vegan cheese. Are you okay? Are you okay? Y'all, Abby just grabbed my face and kissed me. Okay, how many tortillas we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I really want to just do these in half, okay? Yes, I am still breastfeeding. Yes, Ellie. So we're just going to put it like this. Yes, Ellie. So, I think I'm going to be going on live on Instagram and eating these. If y'all want to meet me there on Instagram after this is all said and done. Depending on how much battery life I have. So, I'm just going to put some cheese right here on, to, on the bottom first. On the actual tortilla first. She wants me. It's okay, baby boo boo.
You said what? If you read the Bible, you would understand what happened to her. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, give me a second, Eliana. Now, I'm going to put on another on one half. I'm going to put some vegetables. Avi, I'm coming. Ellie, talk to Avi. I love vegetables. I love vegetables. I love vegetables. Actually, just use, just do it like little mini pizzas. Actually, cause this looking, it's looking good. Let me try to save some for some other ones, cause. Mommy. Yes, Ellie. Go pee, Eliana. You know how to pee. Hey, come get this stool. Put some chicken on there. Y'all see what I'm doing? Some chicken. Yes, I eat chicken. I eat chicken. I eat that bird. Oh, it's about to be so good. I'm actually going to chop some more this up like that. I like how it's real chopped up. It's all right, Ivy. I'm coming, baby. I know, I know. I know you're just having the hardest time in life right now. I wish I had some toothpicks, because then that would be perfect, but I don't. The moment. Okay, baby. Here we go. I got thing one and thing two. I'm going to just put a little more, little more vegan cheese. I'm coming, Abby. I don't know, y'all. I might just put these in the oven like this. Because I don't know if I'm able to close that. Oh, no. All right, that should be better. Let me see if it can close up. If I had some toothpicks, that would be nice. It's about to be so good. You see? I don't want these to... these to uh mama 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 look i'm strong good job baby you did it you did it ellie i'm so proud of you mom look at my baby Don't let me see it hold up ellie i'm doing a lot at one time hold up 
I think I might just keep it like this, honestly. Keep it like this. Don't push that to the side. I don't know. Stop stumping. Stop. No, ma'am. We're just going to put them in the oven like that. All right, so now we're going to get the other ones. We're going to get the other ones and we're going to assemble the other ones. I'm going to put this right here. Can you see me? Hold on, Eliana. Hold on, baby. I'm trying to get this together. You're a penguin. Yeah. I'm dead. Yeah, I can see you, baby. We used the majority of our, we used all of our vegetables actually. Actually, I'm gonna have to take some of this off because I don't think Eliana's gonna like to eat that. So I'm gonna do two of them with no vegetable. She not gonna like that. But she gonna eat, she gonna, later, if she want more, I'll just take, take the vegetables off of them. But that's what we gonna do, right there. I'm gonna do some more of this chicken, chop it up, chop it up. Cause I don't want you jumping around. No. Can you be a goat? You? Can you be a goat? What'd you say? Can you be a goat? I can't be a goat. You are a goat. <laughs> Eliana love chicken. I asked Eliana, I said, Eliana, what you want to eat today? She said granola bars and chicken. That's what she said. I said, you sure? She said, yes, mommy. <laughs> yes, mommy, I will. I will be gentle. <laughs> I will be gentle, mama. Mommy, I will be gentle. <laughs> mommy, All right, so we're gonna put this to the side. Eliana, get off of me, please. Chicken 
Italiano. This is like pasta protein. And we're not gonna be putting this back in the refrigerator because that's gonna blow me. So we just gonna use the rest of this. The rest of this vegan cheese. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Oh, this is so hearty. All right, so we got that in the oven, y'all. It looks good, right? We got that into the oven, y'all. Are you hungry? Mm, Y'all, I don't know if I'm going to eat this online. I might eat it online. I might just, because, uh, okay, so I do have more content coming today, y'all. I'm going to do a friendly favor video to show you some of the products that I got. And we're going to be, Eliana got a gift from her auntie for um, Easter, her and Avi, and something she got for her birthday which I posted that on Instagram already. But I'm gonna be doing more content with Eliana, opening her gifts, and we might just eat in that video. But yes, y'all, that's what we eating today. And for anything else, I mean, y'all just stay tuned for the most part. But yes, yes, yes. I feel so happy. <laughs> I feel so happy, I feel so good. I feel so like peaceful and just like I don't know I just feel so good and how I know yes I am yes ocean I I'm I'm so uh the how I know I'm happy is because every morning that I wake up Aviana is literally smiling like she really be smiling at me I be like good morning and she be like I look like an angel <laughs> Well, all the glory goes to God, just like somebody said in the comments, because it's by the grace of the Lord that I have this beautiful smile. I have all of these beautiful things in life. I get to reclaim my sovereignty. I get to reclaim and establish my relationship with the Most High. It's all because of Jesus, y'all. And so, yes, I hope y'all are inspired to... Get your relationship right, especially for your children. Your children need to understand it because God teaches us to raise up the child in which way they may go and they will never depart from it. So we have to teach our children. Are you going to sleep? Oh, she's looking. I love her so much. This is my little angel. Y'all say I look like an angel. This is my little angel. She holding me. This is my little angel. Oh, my little angel baby. This is my little angel baby. Mm. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Oh, my little baby. Oh, my baby. She's laying on me. She laying on me, y'all. Oh, my baby. You just want to be close to me? Yes, baby. Yes, baby. God, no, you lying. Look at this one. <laughs> I 
Are you are you good? Yeah, it's so hot outside. It's hot outside. You like sitting there, Ellie? Yeah. Girl, why she got her leg crossing everything, eating them chips, girl? You feel good, Ellie? Yeah. <laughs> Is it comfortable? Yeah, it's so comfortable. <laughs> Are those chips good? Yeah. Come on, let's go see her. Some chips good? Yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. This is our life, guys, for now. Because we about to turn up in a minute. We gonna turn, we gonna be turning up in a minute. Y'all gonna be like, oh my god, man. I'm gonna be like, yes, come through, come through, Jesus, come through. We gonna be turning up. In a minute. Ain't that right, Ellie? Ain't that right? Um, yeah. <laughs> she said, um, yeah. You so pretty. You my baby? Mm -hmm. You still my baby? Yeah, mama. I love you. I love you mama. Where your juice at? You drank all your juice? Um, yeah. No, you didn't. Mama, this is my juice. Can you say please? Um, I'm still making the cookbook as we speak. Let me check my tacos, my, my chicken tacos. Ooh, y'all, look at that. Ooh, this is about to be so good. Don't touch it. Back up. So good. Let me see how much. I'm gonna have to put us on the charger. Once I get us on the charger, I'm actually gonna come back on here and eat with y'all. Cause I'm loving the vibe. I'm loving y'all and I'm loving the vibe. And we're gonna come back on here and we're gonna eat together. But I'm gonna I'm gonna breastfeed Ivy first. And she's still laying on. So y'all, I want to show y'all the finish, what it look like finished though, before we get off. We got, we got a couple more minutes. <laughs> yeah, you seen that? She's like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to look like. Make some tacos then, baby, make some tacos. Yo quiero chicken taco. No, it's yo quiero pollo, no, taco pollo. I don't know, I guess. You on five? Oh, you have five. Smoothies. Ellie likes to drink smoothies. <laughs> That's funny. She about to yam on everything. Girl, I want six more kids. I want six more. <laughs> It's not by my might, okay? Not by might, not by power, by your spirit, God. It's in your spirit, God. It's by the Lord, okay? It's by the grace of the Lord, because I ain't doing it, okay? You scared. She says she's scared. All right, let's see if they done. I think it's done. Not by mine. Not by power. But by your spirit, God. Mama, let me go to the beach. Yeah, 
Let's go to the beach. Each, let's go get away. This is what the final product looks like. Do you like it? Do you like? Do you like? Mmm, it smells so good. All I need is some garlic, some garlic hot pepper sauce. I'm gonna show y'all the sauce I'm gonna eat with. All right, that's done. Pick this up, baby. I'm gonna put some of this sauce on there. Chili garlic sauce. Bussin. Bussin. All right. So, until next time, y'all. Hopefully, y'all on while I eat. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm still trying to contemplate. All I do know is I'm about to go put this on the charger. Put the phone on the charger. And breastfeed Abby and. I'll be back because I do have more content coming through. So be ready. Until next time.